Hey, data communication experts. We are the solution duo. And we are here to give easy answers to special technical support questions about XR products. So, check this out. Do you know how to check the CAN signal level of your USB to CAN? At least I'm a bit lost here, but I know someone for sure who loves CAN signals. Toby, so Mr. CAN signal, do you know how to do that? Yes, I can. <laughs> I know. It's a great question, Janina. If the CAN transceiver is malfunctioning and the signal levels are off, it can completely halt communication. This makes checking them vital for troubleshooting. According to the CAN specification, the CAN signal is transmitted via two wires, CAN high and CAN low. If the CAN transceiver is broken and has wrong signal levels, the communication is not possible at all. To measure the signal levels, you'll need a multimeter for the recessive level and an oscilloscope for the dominant levels. Let me break that down. Mm, yeah, sounds good. Uh, what should I be looking for? Well, with your multimeter, check the recessive levels on both can high to can ground and can low to can ground. They should be about 2.5 volt. Using an oscilloscope, the dominant level on can high to can ground should be around 3.5 volt and on can low to can ground about 1.5 volt. But what if the levels aren't as expected? If any levels differ by more than 1 volt, it's a sign the device might be broken. In that case, it should be sent in for repair. That's how you ensure your USB to CAN V2 is functioning correctly. Simple tools like a multimeter and oscilloscope can save the day. Thanks, Mr. CAN. I will check my device right away. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a tough support question, please give us a comment and subscribe to our channel.